10 Reasons Live Streaming is the New Color TV Hey Alexers, what interesting times we're living in. This video was a long time coming, and now with US Congresswoman Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez dominating Twitch with her recent live stream, it's time to talk about why live streaming is the new color TV. Alexers, here's a little secret. Do you know what the most valuable currencies of the future are? So, the answer is crypto, time, and attention. Take a second to think about that. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Today we are talking about the third of the currencies, attention, and why live streaming is the worldwide bank of attention. You're gonna learn a lot from this video, so stick around. We are starting the list with number one, attention is king. Let's take a minute and explain why this is true. If you want to talk to people, you need their attention, obviously. Are you guys familiar with the term content noise? Have you ever spent a long time on social media or YouTube and felt like you haven't actually watched anything? You're just scrolling your time away into oblivion. It's when people or companies are posting so much irrelevant content that the attention span of the average viewer gets lower and lower. The longer this goes on, the more attention becomes more valuable, so the platform that manages to grab the most attention will ultimately be at the top. Right now, there is an average of 2.5 million people who watch Twitch every day. You could say those are the rookie numbers compared to Instagram's 500 million, but there is a very big catch here, and that is… Number 2. Long-Term Engagement Yes, there are 500 million people on Instagram every day, but what are those people doing? They scroll around, double-tapping cute puppies and racing through stories like there's no tomorrow. There's little to no engagement, and that's where live streaming really shines. You have people watching the same channel for hours at a time, engaging with the content creator and the community. And the level of engagement is so high it even spawned its own identity in Twitch chat. If you spend time on Twitch, you know what we're talking about. Easy claps, easy wins, pog champs and spamming emotes may seem like an obnoxious way for people to interact with each other, but it demonstrates an irrefutable truth. There's a community that loves to engage and it has the right infrastructure to do so. Number 3. Personal Connection The next point on why live streaming is the new color TV is the personal connection people get with the content creator. It's simply unmatched, and as we talked previously, in a world so full of content noise, being able to really connect with the people you're following is extremely valuable. One could say you could connect with people on YouTube as well. I mean, you guys have been trying to connect with me for years. But again, live streaming comes in with something extra that YouTube has lost over the years. Number 4. Candid Experience Unedited, uncut, unfiltered, or maybe filtered a bit by terms and services, but still. That's why vlogging is such a big part of YouTube right now, and it's also why it's getting too noisy. Creators realize that people love watching them in, quote, real-life situations, so they started over-exaggerating their daily life, losing the candid experience over time. With live streaming, however, what you get is what you get, and people actually really enjoy that. Here's a little fun fact for you. Remember Big Brother, the TV show? It's currently on its 22nd season. If anything, they were ahead of the curve even back in the 2000s. Number 5. It goes hand in hand with video games. Now, why is that such a big deal? Well, video games have evolved over the years, big time. And we're not just talking about graphics, although the new Unreal Engine made us question reality. No, we're talking about something else. Right now, video games are the best way to bring together people from different backgrounds. Drake playing Fortnite with Ninja is one example, but let's talk about the more recent one. Like we mentioned in the intro, US Congresswoman Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez streamed a game of Among Us, along with a bunch of high-profile creators and streamers, just a couple of days ago. The reason behind this live stream was to raise voting awareness, and boy did she ever. Her stream was the third highest viewed stream ever, peaking at 400,000 viewers. And like Philip DeFranco pointed out, when you consider the fact that the streamers she played with were also streaming themselves, the number is actually way, way higher. 
We are big believers in video games dominating a lot of different markets in the future. So much so, we secretly launched our gaming channel here on YouTube. And we have a lot of great content planned for it. Think of it as Alux, but for gaming and esports. If you agree with us, go over to alux.com slash ZD and join the community we're building. Number 6. It's the natural progression. When it comes to technology or how we connect with other people, there's always the question of what's next? If you think about it, the natural progression of how we consume content looks like this. Radio, TV, YouTube, live streaming, augmented reality. Back in September, MKBHD did a video with Mark Zuckerberg where they talked about tech and what's next. Mark said that augmented reality is definitely the place where we're going and it's a pretty obvious route. And if you think about it, even when augmented reality becomes a commodity, what are you gonna do with it? Correct, you're gonna live stream it. Number 7. The pandemic proved live streaming works in business too. How many events went from in-person to live stream this year? A lot of them. And if anything, they were cheaper to hold. Online education is another area where live streaming was the solution, and while the infrastructure wasn't there, it still got some of the job done. That event could have been a live stream is the new that meeting could have been an email. Number 8. It's a one click away. Here's an interesting statistic. In 2019, more people watched the live stream of the League of Legends Worlds than they watched the Super Bowl. So what does that mean? For one, video games are outperforming traditional sports as a means of entertainment, and we're actually going to cover this on our gaming channel, so stay tuned for that one at alux.com slash ZD. But secondly, if you want to watch the Super Bowl, well, first of all, you have to actually be physically in the US to be able to access one of the links. That, or you could use a VPN like NordVPN, one of our sponsors. Yes, we know, perfect segue. If unrestricted internet is your thing, go to alux.com slash VPN and grab the deal. Okay, okay, back to the video. Twitch is a great example here. They were smart enough to make their platform similar to a TV network with different categories and make it easy for people to jump from game to game or find new streamers. Plus, it's free. Number 9. Very Low Barrier of Entry Technically, it's easier to get into live streaming than it is editing videos for YouTube, and there are a lot of people streaming all sorts of different content right now. And possibly one of the coolest examples we can give is the story of Brox, a Maori woodcarver and streamer from New Zealand. There's something very special in being able to watch a live woodcarver from the other side of the world and interact with him at the same time. And Brox's setup consists of a phone strapped by two ropes on a piece of wood. Talk about a low barrier of entry. His stream was even crashed by Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Speaking of New Zealand, they had one of the strictest lockdowns to combat COVID and now life there is slowly getting back to normal. We spoke more about what New Zealand does right in a dedicated video, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 10. Easier to reach an audience. What gives the most trust? A live Q&A or a scripted video? A lot of people, from entrepreneurs to companies or creators, are finding it way easier to reach and connect with their audience via live stream. It feels more like an open conversation and people tune in for that. They like the feeling of just hanging out. Ultimately, live streaming is the new era of communication and media. It proves something that no other media channel can give, and that's a sense of human connection with real-time feedback. So what do you think, Aluxers? Is live streaming just a fad, or will we see more people going live? Thanks for sticking with us until the end. Here's a bonus for ya. All good things come with some kind of drawback. The only drawback to live streaming is data limits and connection speeds. You need at least a decent internet connection to join, and we've seen a lot of problems during this pandemic with online education in underdeveloped areas. Maybe if Elon Musk's plan to provide high-speed wireless internet succeeds, we won't have that problem in the future. I guess time will tell. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.